Welcome to the second affordable collectible video on the Guitar Collector Guy channel. I wanted to set the definition for what a collectible or an affordable collectible guitar is. It's a guitar that's worth collecting, it's of interest to a collector, it's able to be collected, and it's a guitar valued and sought by collectors. The focus of the affordable collectible videos is that you can collect guitars that are collectible, valuable, and cool to own, but you don't have to break the bank. They're not guitars that are like $2,000 and up. They're guitars that are affordable. Today, we're talking about the Fender Road Worn 50s Telecaster. Here are some of the specifications for the guitar and why I think that it is a collectible affordable. First, the guitar is made in Mexico. The body is made of alder with a Road Worn nitrocellulose lacquer finish. It has a maple neck that is finished with a road-worn urethane with a C-shape, a 25 and a half inch scale length, a radius of seven and a quarter inches, 21 narrow jumbo frets, and a synthetic bone nut. Both the bridge and the neck pickups are Fender Tex-Mex single coil Telecaster pickups. It comes with the standard Telecaster master volume and master tone and a switching three position blade switch that position one is bridge, position two is bridge and neck, and position three is just the neck pickup. It has three vintage style string through saddle bridge. It comes with vintage style tuning machines, a one ply white pickguard, knurled dome knobs, and a barrel type switch tip. My guitar was made in 2018. The guitar we're talking about today was produced from 2009 to 2019. I once watched a Philip McKnight video where he said, and I'm paraphrasing from memory so it won't be exact, that if you make a better dollar investment when you purchase a made in Mexico Fender versus a US made guitar, that the Fender made in Mexico guitar really hold the resale value when compared to a made in US guitar. I don't think he was saying the quality or anything like that. He was just saying from a financial perspective. I did some analysis for this guitar. This is what I found. Originally, the guitar retailed for $1,199. Today, ranging in condition of good to excellent on reverb, in the last 60 days, they sold 20 of this specific model of a Telecaster. The low sales price was $900, being $299 less than the original retail price. The high sales price was $1,425, which is $226 more than the original sales price. 20% of the guitars sold, so basically four out of the 20, sold for more than the original retail sales price of $1,199. I thought this was pretty interesting. I'm not saying that Mexican-made fenders are better than American-made fenders. They hold their value because one, they're in demand, Two, folks want them. I guess that's the same thing. And the folks that have them find them to be good guitars. Also looking at the online reviews in magazines, video logs, forums, and retail sites, the guitar gets really high four to five star ratings pretty much all the time. Out of all of my guitars, this purple Telecaster is my most favorite. I did not need to see the data to know that. I just needed to hold and listen to the guitar. It feels like a comfortable seven pound and two ounce friend. The neck feels wonderful as I move my hand up and down while playing. It has already a road worn feeling to the back of the neck and it just feels right in your hand. I already love the Fender Tex-Mex pickups and I regularly install them into my builds and videos on the channel. I've never found quality issues with them. And to be honest with you, for the longest time, I actually thought that they were American made. I didn't know that they were actually made in Mexico. I found them to be very consistent in how they sound from set to set. I'm very happy this guitar comes stuck with them. They sound great and bright. I'm all playing clean in all positions and they sound amazing, overdriven or distorted. All in all, this is a very good and collectible guitar. I have found that the purple guitars of this specific model are a much higher demand and actually bring in much higher prices. But for God's sakes, it is purple. Who would not want a purple guitar? I own many US made Fenders 
and I cannot find anything with this guitar except for the fact that it comes with a gig bag instead of a case that makes it any less quality than the U.S. made counterparts that I own. It is a excellent and wonderful guitar in all ways. <laughs> 